Amanda Saladin here from Love Life Yarn and today we are going to be making this very easy ombre blanket. It uses a shell stitch and it's super simple, double crochet, chains, and seal crochet. And the yarn does all the color work for you. It is Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, which I picked up actually at my local Walmart. So very affordable, makes for a great blanket that you can wash and dry because we've done it and I've made several different blankets with this yarn and it's one of my favorites. So are you ready? Let's get started. You will need two skeins of this Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. This is what is left from my second skein. So you could easily make this blanket larger with um, not having to buy any more yarn and a size K, the 6.5 millimeter hook. I like these. Um, to be honest, I'm not particularly about my hooks, but I like the ones that have a little bit of a softer handle if I have one laying around. So those are the only two things you need. Two skeins of yarn. The larger ones, you can see these are 10 ounces, so they're um, large skeins. Like I said, you can get at Walmart, Joanne, uh, most places carry it, and then a size K hook. All right, the multiple for this is six plus two. So for our pattern, if you want it to be the same size as my blanket, which was about 32 inches square, you need to chain 116, okay? Because 114 is a multiple of six, and then two more. So for our example, I'm gonna do 20 because I don't want you to wait forever for me to get all of my um, stitches done. So doing my sample here, the first thing you're going to do is single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Now I like to work into the back. Here's the front of mine, you see the Vs? Turn it to the back and one, two. So I'm gonna insert my hook under this loop right here It'll cooperate with me today. There we go. And then you yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both. And that is how you work a single crochet if you haven't before. Now we're going to skip the next two chains. So see these bumps? One, two. And we're going to work a shell in this next one. So yarn over for a double crochet. Make a double. So you insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, it's a double crochet. For our shell, we'll do a double. Chain one. Double. Chain one. And a double. A variation of this stitch is to do five. Double crochet for a a nice little shell, but to me that was too dense for this particular pattern, so I added the chain spaces. And they, it doesn't make big holes as you saw in the fabric. Skip two, one, two, and then single crochet. And you're gonna repeat that. For as long as your chains are, skip two, shell, remember double crochet, chain, double crochet, chain, double crochet. Skip two, single. By the time you get down to the end, you should be ending on one single crochet. Here's the end of our first row. And because I had three multiples of six, remember I had 18, and then I added two, I have three little shells. Okay, so you'll have how many wide as you wanna go. And then for our next one, we started out here with a single crochet. So now we're going to chain four which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And we're gonna double right back here. This is making like a half shell. Okay, think of this as a half shell in our single. And you're going to single crochet right in the middle here in this top, I mean the middle double crochet. Okay, from your shell. And now you work a shell in the single crochet. Here's our single in between the two shells from the row below. Work your double, chain one, double, chain one, double. Okay, and you're gonna repeat that. Now obviously ours isn't very long, like I said, so I'm gonna single. This is just a two row repeat, it's so easy, I love it. I had this in the car a lot. Okay, I'm doing a shell here in the single crochet. So while my husband drove, obviously, <laughs> 
not when I'm driving, but when he was driving or when I wait in the car line to drop off or pick up my kids, um, we have four sons, then I was working on this blanket. Okay, so here we are at the last one. So single on the top of the middle double crochet. Oh, mine's not cooperating. It loves to not cooperate when I'm trying to actually film it. And now we're working another half shell in this first single. So see our first single right here, the little V? You're gonna work a half shell right here, which is a double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Okay, and that is the second one. So see, you can see even though we use a chain space, it's not a huge hole that like if you did it for a baby that any babies would get their fingers really stuck in. I know they do have small fingers, but um, so I have four kids and I never had any issues with that. So this was our half shell. I mean, it's completely up to you. If you wanna make this five double crochet to reduce the holes, then absolutely. To me, when I started it that way, I said I just thought it was too dense. Um, so I did it this way. So that was row two, now row three, chain one, single right here in this very first double, shell in the single crochet. So right here, there's a single. Right before this other shell shape starts is a single. So work a shell, double, chain, Double, chain, double, okay, single crochet in the top of your middle double from the shell below. So really, every time you see a single crochet, you're working a shell into it. And when you have a shell, you're just working a single crochet into the top of that middle double crochet. So right in the center of your shell is where you want to make a single. So right here. And then when you get to the end here, you're going to work into your starting chain, which is never fantastic. And I'll show you a trick that I use. So right here's our starting chain. We needed this chain one in between here. So I'm gonna actually put it into the second, which is actually the, the third chain of your turning chain. And this is a single. Okay, now personally, I hate working into a chain. So this is the trick that I use to get around that. It's called a chainless double crochet. You lift up your hook to about, till the yarn is about half the hook height, the, hook, the shaft, so you can see it's about twice hold it with your index finger, pull the hook toward your face, toward you, and move it around. So it looks like it's almost like two loops. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through again. And now you can see that when I come back, I have this nice, almost like a stitch to work into. If you do the chainless double crochet, chain one to give you that half shell. Okay, it's gotta have that chain so what we did before was a chain four, and if you like that, e that's easier for you, then absolutely. But this is what I do. And then when I come back, it's hard to see, but you can work right here into this, as opposed to trying to find the chain. So honestly, I use that for most all double crochet projects that start with a double crochet because I can't stand working into a chain. Like I just have trouble with it. So you can either at the beginning of that round chain four like I have written in the pattern, or you can use my little hack, which is a chainless and a chain one. So you just repeat. If you start with a half shell like this row, you'll single, shell, single, shell, single, half shell. And then the next row, you start with a single. So you chain one, just like we did the last time, single, shell, single, and that will have full shells. And it's super easy to repeat. And actually for the border of this blanket, let me grab mine here. Um, for the border, all I did was I went down, so the last one already makes a scallop. And so I just, at the end, 
I worked the, the half shell, I mean the half shell, a full shell in the corner. So you have to make sure that you end on a row that has single crochets on the ends. And then when you get here to the single, you can work a full shell and you work that around the side. So it was really nice because you could tell in the side where the rows were. So I just worked a single and then the next row I worked a shell and then a single and then a shell and single all the way down. Um, all the way down to this end. And again, it worked out that it was in the corner. If it's not completely in the corner, I would just kind of fudge it honestly a little bit and then get your shell here, turn it, run, go down the other side. I mean, you can just, I'm just making a very easy border. Of course you could use any border pattern out there you like, but I wanted to make this a truly easy project. So all you need to know is our shell, the open shell, or you could use, like I said, a um, five double crochet here and then a single crochet. So that's how I made this pattern. And you can see the texture is really lovely with this yarn. So that's why I chose to put the two together. And that is how you make this. Just make it as wide or as narrow as you want. Mine is about 32 inches and you chain 116 to begin. And then you just follow that easy two row repeat and then do the the border. So it's super easy. The full written pattern is at lovelifeyarn.com. It's linked below. So please just check the description and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.